Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get your body more open through impact and how that relates to using the ground to be able to do that. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you here. Thanks so much again for joining me. We're here in my training center here just outside of Chicago. We're gonna be using a little bit of a piece of technology called a body track, which is really gonna measure how we pressure the ground. And this is gonna be really important because one of the the most common questions I get from people or things that they want to get better at is getting open through impact. I think it's really, really, you know, important to understand. It's a hot topic right now and want to explain to you a little bit how that happens again through how we use the ground and our connection with the ground. So we're going to use this body track mat to do this. So you'll see as we're looking at it, my feet and I can feet see how they're moving and how I'm pressuring the ground. Let's go over a couple of things real quick before we start doing this so about the mat so you know what you're looking at. So you'll see obviously my feet as I move, you're gonna be able to see how I'm pressuring into the ground. This is different than mass shift, okay? So it's different than that. It's, it's more about just trying to get my pressure, how my feet are gonna help me push into the ground and that's what causes our body to start rotating. That's that's our first thing that we want to start understanding. If you want to get more rotation, either back or through in your golf swing, it's going to start coming from how you use your feet and how you use the ground. That's what drives your body to make it move. We see players on the PJ Tour that have really open bodies at impact. They have incredible speeds with their hips. How are they getting that? They're getting it through a lot of force in the ground. When we measure them, it, some of it can be two, two and a half times their body weight. That's how much force can go into the ground. And that's why they are able to rotate their body so quickly. So let's talk a little bit, now that we've talked about the mat and what it's doing, let's talk a little bit about how are we gonna get more open. So if I'm gonna do this, all right, the first thing we've gotta be able to do is when we go into a backswing, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be pressuring into our backswing, all right? So this is where you'll see people turn, you get more depth in the golf club and they get more, you know, right arm bent back, their arm over their right shoulder, that type of stuff that you hear. So you're gonna get that through, again, a lot of pressure. So what you'll see is I'm gonna have more pressure on my trail foot at this point, okay? Now the first key to understanding is when you have that pressure, if you wanna get more, in, more open through impact, you have to get that pressure to the front side. All right, you're gonna have to get your pressure going to the front side because that's what's gonna let you push and open. Now, what I see most people do when they come and try to get more open, they'll go back and they think, all right, I'm gonna fire my hips. They'll think fire my hips. So they get up here and they go fire my hips. Okay, so they're gonna have a lot of issues. There's a couple of things. So one, when you do that, your body is in a really bad spot to make good contact with the ball, you're really gonna have a hard time. You're also gonna get into what we would call early extension, all right, because your body eventually is gonna start shutting down on the rotation. You're not gonna be able to rotate as much, as much because you don't have anything else supporting you. Again, there's no force pushing you to get this body more open, which is what we wanna see. So if we're going to get more rotation and get more open on the way through, we have to get from the trail side to the front side and get loaded up so I can then push off the ground. That push is what, as you watch, that is what opens me up, all right? That's how I get this to open. And the club's gonna kind of work around our body. We're gonna see our hand path go in more. That's all of a sudden, that's starting to have everything kind of work more open. So you can start see it all comes from the ground up as we start to do this. So again, what you'll start to understand is how your feet pressure the ground, that's setting you up for good rotation. So again, it can start on the way back. As I go back, I'm gonna be pressuring, but I wanna start figuring out how to get it more to the front. Now, one thing to clarify as we do this, it doesn't have to be mass shift, right? I see a lot of people that pressure on their trail foot, but they're just moving their mass forward, okay? that's not gonna have the same effect. You're in a lot of trouble if you're gonna do that, all right? So what we wanna see is it's more of a pressure shift, you're gonna feel it. That's where I could technically pressure more 
and stay more back on the golf ball, which is what I actually prefer to see. I don't like to see people getting too far ahead. You're gonna see that I can pressure with having my mass stay more back, okay? So that's a, another good thing to start understanding is it's not mass shift, it's pressure shift. Okay, we're getting our feet set up, our footwork set up to be able to generate some power, get more open, club face gets more stable, all those good things we like. Now, how do we get that pressure to the lead side in a good way. Well, I think there's a real easy way to do it. So if we make a golf swing, we go back, all right, you're gonna see our body is tilted. For me, a right-handed player, I'm bent to the left towards the golf ball. We call that left side bend. Now, when I go to shift forward, I wanna try to feel like my shoulders and my hips stay in that left side bend for a long time, all right, until I'm ready to explode up and let my body open, I wanna make sure I keep that bend because that's gonna keep me coiled up. That's gonna give me a lot of feeling of a lot of power and I'm gonna be ready to go and I'm gonna be ready to explode at the golf ball. If I do what I see a lot of people do, I see a lot of people come back, they lose, as they try to open, they lose that bend. Their right shoulder starts going down way too fast all of a sudden, they have lost all their power, their body again shuts down, there's nothing behind their motion, so all of a sudden we've got some issues with getting our body to be a little bit more open. So again, the two keys I like to see as we start to understand the ground is your pressure and how you build that up is what causes rotation. So if we wanna rotate more on the way through, we've gotta have more pressure on our front foot and to get it there, we have to keep our left side bend or our side bend towards the ball for as long as we can until the right moment happens. Again, you'll lose it. You're gonna go into right side bend and you're going to extend, all right? Extension is good, but we don't want it to happen early. That's early extension. That's what a lot of people struggle with. So just remember, extension is good. You're just trying to get it to happen at the right time. So. If we were to do it, here's how it would look if I were to hit this shot. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to pressure and just explode up to be more open. Let's see how I can do. Pretty good. You can see my chest got all the way through the target. My hips got through. Felt pretty open. Made pretty decent contact there. Felt powerful with actually not a lot of effort, which is great. So that's how we get open when we are using our feet and our pressure when we're trying to get through impact, trying to get our body to work more through. It starts from the ground up. So if you ever hear that said, now you start to understand what we're talking about. It's the force that you put through your feet, through your legs, through the ground. That's what drives your body to rotate in the golf swing. We just don't throw it and rotate as fast as we possibly can without having something to back it up. So that's what we're going for when we say we wanna get more open through impact. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Hopefully it really helped you out. We hope that you enjoyed the content. If you liked it, please make sure you click the subscribe button down below. We'd also like to hear what you think about how you get open. Do you need it more? Are you struggling with it? How have you tried in the past to get more open? Some of those things that you've heard, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and leave a comment below. And then also, if you want, make sure you click the bell for notifications so you get notified when our next videos come out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.